Remember, folks, I'm just a Muppet in a chair. Don't take me seriously. What's going on, Boomerites? Uh, good to see you. Before I start this video, uh, it's if you're watching this on YouTube, it's probably going to drop like a week or a week and a half later. But um, I currently have a bunch of family in the house, uh, two sisters, brother, nieces, nephews. It's a packed house, and I don't have a big house. Um, so if you're on YouTube and you're watching this and you're wondering why there haven't been many uploads in the past week, that's why, because uh, over this weekend and a couple more days, I'm focusing on family because all my uh, my sisters and my brother live in different states, and usually they're not. Uh, it's all it's very rare when all of us are in the same house at the same time, so it's a special time. Um, but again, I don't want to leave you guys in the dark, so I am making a couple videos. But if you haven't seen it, videos as frequently lately. That's the reason why. Family comes first, right? But, anyway, <clears throat> I didn't want to skip this one. Because this is uh, Benidorm, uh, Season 2, Episode 8. Which I sincerely hope it's finally the wedding that everybody says is so hilarious. Um, also, before I clicked on, because I'm watching these on YouTube. Before I clicked on the video, underneath it, it said Easter Special 2009. Now, my question is, is that the special that you guys have been talking about? Because if it is, then I'll take that as a mental note and make sure I do the Easter special before I start Season 3. So, just want to make sure with you guys before uh, I get around to doing that one. So, so thank you for the responses to that. Anyway, let's get into the reaction. Remember to like, subscribe, do whatever you guys want. And let's see a crazy wedding, shall we? But because I have so many people in the house... I'm going to put these headphones on so I can focus a little better. So, here we go. What a I do lovely like them surprise much seeing you here. Jesus Christ, I might have known you'd be here. Hello. Oh, we've not missed any action, have we? No, I think the one in the wheelchair is a bit shy. Oh, you didn't oh. know this was a dogging beach, didn't you? We don't even know what dogging is. Well, it's happening all around you. Uh. Oh, God! Oh, Oh my god. <laughs> He's gonna have a heart attack. Oh god. Uh. Oh. oh man. Last long. Although we did meet a very nice Welsh chap, didn't we? Oh yes. He lasted a lot longer. <laughs> Toto, I don't think we're in Kansas anymore. <laughs> That's right, his mom just left. Who is it? It's Mick. I wonder if she's coming what back. What do you want? Here comes the bride, six inches wide. Here comes the vicar, wearing women's name. Do you mind? Yeah, bit of Dutch courage. What are you doing here? Well, I just came to say hello. See if you need any help. Where's Madge? Downstairs, getting a last-minute suntan. <laughs> and I'll have no wise cracks from you, thank you very no, much. No, no, it'll, uh, it'll do her good to get a bit of colour. I'm not sure what colour there is left for her to go, but... Uh... Sorry. Sorry, just, uh, just a joke. Well, here we are, then. The day of the wedding! <laughs> if you just come up here to state the obvious, personally, I've got better things to do. No, no, I, I, I just wanted to say, you know, um... It's not too late for you to back out. You got <laughs> ten seconds to leave this room. No, don't get me wrong. I don't mean cancel the wedding. Just postpone it. Why would we do that? Well, Madge's only known you four weeks. We only met you just over a week ago. I think we should spend a bit more time to get to know you. That's all. <coughs> Sit down. This conversation ain't going to be good. If I know conversations between uh, fathers and stepsons, of, or things of that nature, it ain't gonna go well. What do you want to know? Sometimes it does. Well, we know you've got a couple of sunbed shops, but uh, apart from that... My full name is Melvin Churchill Harvey. I was born an only child in Leeds on Christmas Day, 1939. Leeds. Opened my first bakery in Kirkstall in 1962. 
My only wife died in 1979, no children. By 1992, I have 14 sandwich shops, which I sold for 1.8 million when I retired in 2005. I opened a sunbed shop in 2006 for something to do. Six months later, I have five shops, and I'm currently considering an offer from a multinational fitness club to buy me out. What else do you want to know? What are we doing sitting here? Hey? <laughs> Nattering on like a pair of old women when you... You should be getting ready for the happiest day of your life. Yeah, that's what I was doing before I was interrupted. Yeah, I'm gonna leave you now to get on, but... If you need anything, anything at all, you just give your old son a law shout, yeah? Very kind, I'm sure. Three o'clock, on the beach. That's right. Don't bother coming and get me, I'll let me on way down there. All right. <laughs> I'll see you later then. Dad. Dad. <laughs> He wants that much. I, you know, uh, I don't think marrying for money is is a wise thing to do. But some people do it, and it it does work for some people, man. Um, obviously, me and Queen, Queen Boomer ain't marrying for money. That's for sure, because we're not wealthy at, at, at all. But some people do that. I had, I actually have uh, a friend who did that, and uh, he's very happy. So, works for some people. I don't know. It's just interesting, this, the, the different dynamics of why people get married is interesting to me. <laughs> He's like, I hit the jackpot! Tell uh, me, does this look alright for during the day? Yeah. You're not even looking. Trust your nana to get married with ten minutes notice when nobody's got anything decent to wear. Come on, tell. Need to get changed. I've told you twice, I'm not wearing that dress. It's your Nana's wedding day. Her and Mella bought it for you to wear. Yeah, well, there's two reasons why I'm not wearing it. Oh. Look who I found outside. Tanning her beautiful golden skin in the Mediterranean sun. The blushing bride herself. I think he's drunk. Wow. Come on, Mum, what are you playing at? It's too That's a look. We had to come the long way round. Didn't want to bump into Mel. It's bad luck for him to see me before the wedding. He's marrying you. How much bad luck can one man have? Oi, Ooh. that's enough cheek from you. I've never seen a better suited couple. I'll be through in a minute, ma'am. Are you pissed? Oh, what makes you say that? Well, <laughs> you've spent the last 16 years winding my mother up. Now, you're all over. Just found out that our future father-in-law is a multi-millionaire. You're taking the piss. Oh no. Oh no. So you can tell your mother that I'll wear the friggin' bridesmaid's dress if it'll make her happy. What I just thought of this. What if it turns out he's full of shit and he see he doesn't have all this money? <laughs> you know? There could be that possibility too. Are you gonna help me with this dress? I'm coming, ma'am. Oh my god. We're in the money, don't call me honey. Yeah, da 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 <laughs> Oh, happy times in Benidorm. Da 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 da. Nobody gets in if they haven't got a rich band. I don't want any rip rap. No problem, boss. I take care of it. I've seen a vicar, have you? Asked him to get here early. He was rapper and team, you whooped. He works in a gay bar in the old town on the weekend. The local vicar works behind the bar in a queer pub. No, no, no. He don't work behind the bar. He is the drag actor. <laughs> Very good. Oh, the baby. Mel! Hey, what a spread! I knew you wouldn't let us down, Dad! Who's Ben? Uh-oh. Who's Ben? You take it, piss. You know who I am. I took it off because it was annoying me. No Riz man, no entry. Come this on. is the Come rivalry on. that will never die. Dad. Mateo and Johnny Vegas. That rivalry will never die. I eat. Uh, I might just go in for one glass of champagne. Would you mind, son? I do love a good wedding. Oh, thank you, Lord. 
Oddly enough, nowhere near as camp as this. <laughs> Excuse me, darling. <laughs> My God, I think I might actually love Benadorm. Tell! Tell! What is your wrist on? I can't get in. What? So you can get pissed and fall asleep again? Ooh, burn! I'm sorry about that. I think I must have had my drinks, mate. I'm actually East Lancashire's real ale drinking champion. Do you know? It's funny how you're champion at all sorts, but you can't actually do anything. You're an expert on most subjects, but you don't really know anything. I know I was probably crap in bed, but I don't remember anything. I didn't even do it. Which is odd, because you're probably East Lancashire's memory champion as well. I can memorise 60 random objects. Really? <laughs> well, that's fascinating. And I'll tell you something else interesting, Jeff. We didn't sleep together. Just because I'm a teenage single mum doesn't mean I'm a slag. A bit like, even though you know all the capitals of the world, it doesn't make you an interesting person. Ooh, Johnny Vegas getting burned. Quarter past three. Don't worry, she'll be here. Hope oh, she's not had second thought. How does he have the fucking ad on it? Is he trying to be uh, an admiral or some shit? You're not the only one. And she's going out on the chair. In an odd way, this setup is kind of pretty. I kind of like it. Well, no, I, I wouldn't do that, but I kind of like it. I walk down the aisle when you can glide. Beloved. Jesus, the vicar's got more makeup on than me. Here on this wonderful sunny afternoon, I'm between shows. To witness the marriage of Mel between and shows. Madge. It is at this time that I would like to say a few words on behalf of. Shall Mel we sit together? Madge. I'm on my own as well. Oh, yes. Okay. During this gay musical that we call life. I heard your wife left you. I am sorry. Well, she didn't exactly leave me. She just needed some space. Oh, I see. Well, I suppose... Hello. Mel and Matt have been lucky now. enough to find each other during life's closing number. Jesus. He's pushed the boat out here. This must have cost him a fortune. Don't worry, there's plenty more where that came from. <laughs> we think. If any one person here present knows of any lawful impediment to this marriage, then he or she should declare it now. Janice! Hey, who's that? It's your last chance. No, no, no. <laughs> this is gonna be bad, dude. I've got, I've got my car with me. We can go anywhere you want. Did someone order a taxi? Jesus Christ. I got a from last night. If you won't come with me, just give me one more kiss. I can't stop thinking about you. Get rid of him. Janice! Janice! <gasps> one more? I don't think he's all there. I think he might have. Learning difficulties. He'll have fucking walking difficulties if he comes anywhere near me. <laughs> oh, man. That was the angriest I've ever heard him. That was the angriest I've ever heard the dad, dude. Mm. He's not happy. Uh, shall we continue? Yeah, so let's. Do you, Madge Delilah Baron? Take Melvin Churchill Harvey as your lawful wedding. What was husband. all that about? 
To have I don't know. To hold. What did he mean, oh, another I kiss? Know. I honestly have no idea. Or in health, to love and to cherish, till death do you part. I do. Do you, Melvin Churchill Harvey? Kate, I know I've handled this situation badly, but people make mistakes. Martin, I've been to see someone this morning. A lawyer? A doctor. Oh, my God, I knew there was something wrong. I'm pregnant. But when did we... The night of the arm wrestling match. But we were told I couldn't give you a baby. People make mistakes. <laughs> Yay! That makes my heart happy. And to cherish they've had a rough till death two seasons. You part. Uh, yes! I almost shed a tear a little bit. <laughs> Good for you. Sorry. It's exciting to hear that news. You're having a kid for the first to time. Love? It really is. I remember how excited I was. Queen Boomer was terrified. But I was really excited. And then after she calmed down after an hour or two, she was she got really excited. It's a beautiful thing. And to cherish till death do us part. Ah. Interruptions from every What the fuck is this? What the That's hell? What I, do. I heard him. Hey, that was lucky, wasn't it? Get out of the way, you idiot. Mel, Mel, can you hear me? Oh, Wait a minute. Hold on. Oh, Mel. Mel. He said, I do. I heard him. Hey, that was lucky, wasn't it? <laughs> you maniac. Oh, what a maniac. Get out of the way, you idiot. Mel, Mel, can you hear me? Oh, my God. Is he That's actually it. dead this time? That big fat lump tried to kill him the last time. I don't believe it. His feet are moving. Yeah, his feet are moving. He's not dead. Come on, Dad. You can make it. Don't go towards the light. Whatever you do, don't go towards the light. Uh, Come on, Mel. You can do it. Well, he's making noise. He's alive. He's alive. Come on, someone get the vicar. Let's get this wrapped up. What do you think you're doing? He needs to go to hospital. Look, I really think he should go to hospital. This man has waited all his life to meet the woman of his dreams. Get that vicar here now! <laughs> <laughs> Read fast. Do you, a uh, Melvin Churchill Harvey? What have you said? you? That's the <laughs> I've had a bump on the head. Who are you? Oh, shit. Mel <laughs> Who are you? Mel, Mel, don't panic, it'll all come back to you. You remember oh. the badge, don't you? <sighs> What's happening? Where am I? This isn't Lytham St. Downs. He's lost his memory from the bash in the head. I've seen this happen before. Oh, yes. Mm -hmm. a, a friend of ours, Gay Derek, once got concussed by the buckle of a leather harness. That's right. Of course he, he did. He name for over a month. And then in a freak accident during an advanced step class, he managed to kick himself in his own head. Memory came back just like that. Mel, come and sit down for a minute. Oh, oh Jesus! Oh. Dad! Jesus Christ! What do you think you're playing at? I was trying to get his memory back. What if that killed him? Lock him up and throw away the bloody key. What are you doing? I was trying to help him. We're the only family he's got. <laughs> he gets arrested. Oh, sorry. I didn't mean to cause a scene. Get that little shit away from my wife. Dennis. 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 I love you. It was going so well, too. 
Kentucky. Down in the land. Wow. What if he's actually dead now? I swear, that is the one old man in television history who cannot be killed. He cannot be killed. It's like everything, every episode, he nearly dies and it doesn't happen. It doesn't happen. <clears throat> the gods won't let it happen. He's favored by the gods. Uh, all in all, good episode. Definitely, I thought the wedding was going kind of well for a while until Johnny Vegas showed up. Which, that was, what did the guy driving the boat, like, go all the way to the shore and then whip back around and go back out? That was, that was some wild stuff. Which, if that's the case, you know it was intentional. Maybe he was trying to kick uh, Mateo. Who knows? But uh, I was actually really happy for the couple that's, that, where the woman, she thought she was infertile and... She's been giving the man a very rough time over two seasons. But finally it seems that they're happy. And he just wants to give her the world. Or as much as the world as he can. You know? So I was very happy for them. And uh, so it's got me curious as to what's going to happen in the future with this uh, Easter special, if that's the special between season two and three, and then the upcoming season three. I got so many questions swinging around my head about what's going to happen. But the only way to find out is to react to it. And uh, But season two, season one, I'm giving it a thumbs up. Season two, I'm giving it a double thumbs up. I enjoyed season two almost twice as much as season one. So it was, uh, it was a fantastic season. And... Uh, can't wait to do more in the future. All right, Boomerites, enough chit-chat. Uh, hope you guys have a lovely day. Stay safe. And I'll see you guys hopefully soon. Okay? All right, peace out.